Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's I, Althea Hurst. And of course, I am bringing you all things real estate. So if you are looking to sell your home, purchase a property, or if you're a realtor just looking to get some nice gems in your business in order to help you scale, close more deals, I am your girl. I'm a top producing agent with All Our Real Estate in the DC, Maryland, and Virginia area. Today, I am talking to my sellers, and I wanna to talk to you guys about the 10 things that you should avoid when you are selling your home, okay? My first one is surveillance systems. Now, it's good to have them, absolutely. Number one, disclose them to let any prospective buyer know that they are under reporting, okay? That they are being surveilled, if that's the word, okay? <laughs> Next, you guys, when it comes down to the surveillance systems, the reason why I say avoid them is because if your surveillance system has two-way audio and you can hear the conversation between the buyer and the agent, it could severely discourage you. Your home is an attachment to you. And if someone doesn't like your property, you may actually take it personally. I've seen my homeowners do it. I've seen of my homeowners like literally be on their ring camera the moment someone rings the doorbell and they're listening to their conversation and what they're saying. And then they're calling me like, can you believe that person said, da, 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 I didn't like this or I don't want them to come back to the property. You do not, just to avoid that, Turn your camera systems off to give yourself a little bit of peace of mind, okay? Next one is personal photos, okay? If you have personal photos of you and your family, take them down. Take them down before you even do your professional photos on the home, okay? Before you do photos on the home, videography on the home, or even before you allow for showings to begin on your property, make sure you remove all of your photos. Anything that has your kid's name, even with your children's photos in it, take them down. Anything that remotely shows who you are, take it down. You want to depersonalize as much as possible, okay? Your next one is anything of value. If you have valuables in your home, either lock them up or take them with you. Put them in a storage, put them at someone else's house. But if you have anything of value in your home, make sure that you take it out especially if showings are going to be done without your listing agent present. Because when you list your property, most times the buyer's agent will schedule the viewing and then the buyer's agent will meet the buyer there. Most times the listing agent is not at every single showing. But in some, in some instances, yes, the listing agent is required to be present. So you have any valuables, make sure you hide them, okay? Medications is my next one. If you have any medications in your cabinets, in your bathrooms, Put them down, put them away, or you can even put them in your dressers. Now, the thing is this, if you have like a dresser drawer or a closet where you have like, let's say cupboard tree or something in there, you can put the medications in there, but you don't want to just leave them out because when homeowners are looking at your property, they actually do open up your kitchen cabinets. They actually do open up the refrigerator door. They open up the freezer. They go into the garage. They're looking at the space and the capacity. So if you have medications laying around and it's inside of these areas, you'll be surprised that people will actually go inside of your cabinet and say, mm, what, what are they taking? What are they on this for? Okay. You do not want people to know what's going on with you and your body. Next, personal bills and documents. Now, and I say this because I've walked into homes where I've seen mail at the front door, mail on the counters, and my clients like, oh, who, who lives here? Or what they got coming in the mail, right? If you have any mail, personal bills, personal documents, go ahead and put them in a plastic bag, take them with you or put them somewhere safe and secure where people are not able to see them, all right? My next one is safes. Unless it's a really, really big safe, try to keep your safes out of the client's view or out of the buyer's view. You can put them in a closet behind your clothes because you just don't want curious minds to get too curious, okay? Anything that has to do with your emotional information, okay? If you have anything, any items that are sensitive, maybe you love, lost a loved one and you have some information laying around your property in regards to them. Maybe it's a plaque or a flower or a glove from the burial. If you have any of that laying around in your home, please be sure to go ahead and pick those things up so that way prospective home buyers will not see it. All right, so those are a few things that you want to avoid when you are selling your property. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Comment below. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. And of course, follow me on all things social media at I am out there. See you guys.